If you're into any sort of tech-related community, you're probably aware that Microsoft have revealed a brand new version of Windows, that being Windows 11. This came as a surprise to me as for a long time I just assumed Microsoft wouldn't release new versions of Windows, instead just updating Windows 10. Already big channels like Linus Tech Tips, some ordinary gamers, and Mental Outlaw covered Windows 11, but I thought I would cover it myself, since I planned on doing a review when I heard the ISO had been leaked. Now it's worth noting that, while Windows 11 has been announced by Microsoft, it isn't possible to download Windows 11 from Microsoft directly at the moment, and it's gonna be a while before we actually have computers being sold with Windows 11 installed. Maybe Windows 11 is so good that Microsoft and Samsung can kill off Apple for good. Maybe Windows 11 is so good that Richard Stallman will use it, or maybe it's Big Brother. So the initial part of the installer is just basically the same as the Windows 10 installer except for a different logo. This part of the installation is just a matter of agreeing to the EULA, selecting a version, picking a drive, and waiting. The second part of the installer looks a lot nicer though. Instead of just being a blue screen with Cortana trying to talk to you, you have some gradient style graphics which I feel were inspired by a combination of macOS and the deep in desktop environment. And while I'm not a huge fan of light themes, this one actually looks okay and there are other themes as well. At this part, the setup insisted that I sign in with a Microsoft account. I installed Windows 11 in a different VM earlier where I could just sign in with a local account, but for some reason I couldn't do that here. I don't know why this is the case, but I've noticed a similar thing when installing Windows 10 on certain computers. Then when the system is getting ready, we are presented with this screen that looks like the branding Apple has used for their Mac line of products. After setting up the VM's guest editions and throwing the Microsoft account in the bin in favor of an offline account, we get to the desktop. Do you have this taskbar at the bottom that is quite thick, stretching across the whole screen and positioning icons in the center? You can position them to the left, but only if you activate. This is very annoying in my opinion as 1. It's not very intuitive as the start menu is more likely to take up important space. To. It throws people off as the start button has been in the same place since Windows 95. And no, you don't have to break a 26 year old tradition to have a good looking desktop. Plenty of Linux distros do this consistently. The start menu is different to those used in previous versions of Windows. It looks clean, but I also feel it wastes a lot of space. At least it doesn't have those awful metro ads, though I can't let them off the hook completely as they still install stuff like Netflix and Spotify without the user's permission. You can search for a program, file, or search query by typing. If Microsoft really wanted to change the start menu, I think something like the KDE Plasma application launcher would look a lot nicer. There are also new sound effects. Including a startup sound. While sound effects might be annoying to some users, and believe me, I don't like Windows 10 sound effects, if a developer is conscious about the sounds used in their UI design, then I think it contributes to the charm of using a UI. I'm also gonna merit the consistency. One of the things I hated most about Windows 10 was the inconsistency in design. Some programs were pulled straight out of the Windows Vista days, while others used the newer look, and there were a lot of dual applications which I'm glad to see go away. I'm especially happy to see Internet Explorer go. So what do I like about Windows 11? Well like I said, I think it looks very elegant and more consistent than Windows 10. In addition to what I've already mentioned, I also like the implementation of curved window borders and cutting back on the junk. Very happy to not see Candy Crush Saga. Windows 11 also has support for a lot of Android apps, which could be quite useful, and having support for Android apps is a good way to make Windows 11 usable for desktops, laptops, and tablets. But at the same time, if I installed Windows to find TikTok installed then I would probably burn my computer in a fireplace. But hey, twerking in front of a camera must surely be a good thing right? 
And what do I not like about Windows 11? Well it still has a lot of the issues Windows 10 has, most notably concerns over privacy. Windows 10 data collection is bad enough, since you can't opt out of it completely, but some odd proposals have been planned for Windows 11. For example all Windows 11 laptops must come with Bluetooth and a webcam. Of course most laptops come with that anyway but the fact Microsoft felt the need to mention it should raise a red flag. Windows 11 is also very bloated. Microsoft says you need at least 64 GB of storage and 4 GB of RAM as the bare minimum to run Windows 11. I was running the VM with 4 GB of RAM and just over 64 GB of storage in the VM crashed a few times. So I had to give it more memory. Will I install Windows 11 on my own system anytime soon? Probably not, since it hasn't been released yet there could be vulnerabilities that I'm not familiar with, plus I don't know if all the programs and games I use on Windows 10 will work the same as on Windows 11. Plus since I dual boot both Windows and Linux, I'm concerned about Windows 11 messing up my bootloader. To me these inconveniences aren't worth it. But anyway, I hope this video was informative. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.